Diana Denmark here and la la la, it's Monday morning, but it's not any old Monday morning. I told you last week I wanted to do um, a, a special week and we're into the month of September and I want to do a Fly Lady refresher course. Now, a, a lot of you uh, are new to my channel. Welcome, welcome everybody. Um, if you... And, and this is hopefully going to work for you if you are brand new to the Fly Lady uh, concept or if you're an old <laughs> pro at Fly Lady. And, you know, here, here she is doing her little dance because she's excited too. So th this week we're going to be having a little bit of a refresher course. And as I said, you know, if, if you're just starting out with Fly Lady, it may, may give you a few things of what you would like to try. And if you're an old pro at Fly Lady, it may give you some ideas. Perhaps you've been resisting doing the daily float focus or didn't quite understand what that was about. Hopefully I am here to kind of guide you out of the, guard, uh, out of the darkness and, and towards the light. So what I'm gonna be covering this week, I'm gonna be covering um, weekly home blessing hour, purpose of that. Uh, I'm going to, of course, be talking about routines, a good morning routine and a good evening routine, kind of, you know, the bookends of your day. Uh, we'll also be talking about zone cleaning and zone decluttering, how that f fits into the whole picture. Um, what was the other thing? Uh, oh, yeah, da da daily focus. You know, that, that thing of having a kind of set purpose for each day so we're not having all that chaos in our heads of what we think we're supposed to be doing or forgetting what we're, we're meant to be doing. Uh, and the and also I shall be talking about the fly lady habit of pampering, of actually taking some time for you because the idea with the fly lady system is that instead of you spending the whole day cleaning and getting out, you know, let me see if I've got one here, my little cleaning caddy, uh, a toothbrush and you're spending three hours cleaning the grout that's in the bathroom, where by, by taking things, you know, uh, in, in a, a timely manner and doing it consistently and breaking it down into small steps, what you're going to do is you're, you're going to free up some time for yourself. So instead of cleaning all day and having the chaos in your head, you're actually going to have more time to have some fun, spend time with the family, go out and discover what's out there. So, so that we're not having this kind of, that feeling of dread uh, the whole time and that, that confused feeling because nobody wants that. So anyway, let's dive right in. Today I want to talk about the weekly home blessing hour. Now there is one one thing that you need for this and it's not it's not what you think. It's not like a, you know, a cleaning caddy and a shed load of cleaning products. The main thing that you're going to need to do weekly home blessing hour is a timer, our trusty timer. Now, why, why is the timer so important? Well, if, if we take a step back, probably the first time that you hear Fly Lady's weekly home blessing hour, you're thinking, it's gonna take me more than an hour to clean my house. Hands up if you thought that, and you thought, what's, what's the point of doing 10 minutes? I mean, 10 minutes is gonna change anything. That is the whole point here. We've got to change your mindset because you've thought in the past, what's it going to help by um, vacuuming for 10 minutes when the whole place is covered in clutter and uh, I don't know what's for dinner. The, the timer is just going to get us started and also it allows us to stop so that <laughs> because uh, hands up again because I, I was the same uh, before I, I found Fly Lady. Once I actually got my bahuki, you know, off the chair and started moving, I would spend like three hours, you know, vacuuming the house and then I felt exhausted and nothing else got done. So the, the timer helps, it helps us to get moving, but also helps us to stop so we can say, okay, I've worked a bit on that and I'm going to change my focus and work on something else because we tend to go down that, that uh, black hole of, of getting so focused on one thing that we forget everything else. And that's what the Fly Lady helps us to do. It helps us to, you know, see the big picture here and divide it up and it's all going to be all right. So let, let, let me walk you through what we're going to be doing in Fly Lady's Weekly Home Blessing Hour and then I'll tell you uh, what resources I have to, to help you. So Fly Lady Weekly Home Blessing Hour, there are seven 
tasks. Each task, you're going to set your timer for 10 minutes, do one task and then move on to the next. Now, you can either do them all in one go, that's the way I like to do it because I feel it's like a bit of a workout and rough, it takes me about 40, around 40 minutes. And, and I'll get to that in a minute, what, why I can do my weekly home blessing hour in less than an hour. If you're just starting off, it will, it will take you the 70 minutes. You can also, if you don't have, you know, the 70 minutes on one day, if you've got health issues, um, if you've got small children that, that can help you, you can do 10 minutes on the seven days of the week, you know, Monday through to uh, Sunday. You might want to split it up that way. You might also want to write down these tasks, uh, put them in a, in a bowl and have the family members pull them out and everybody does 10 minutes on a different task. You can all be working together. I've used that with my family a lot. Uh, if you've got small kids uh, with you, that they can definitely help out. So you set your, your timer for 10 minutes and, and I'm, I'm going to tell you now what the tasks are. First one is change the bed sheets. You know, the bed sheets in your room, you get the bed sheets off, you put them in the wash and, and if you've got a spare set of bed sheets, you get those right back on and that's your done, okay? Uh, we, we change our bed sheets normally every second week. If you've got allergies, if you've got a lot of uh, pets that sleep on the bed, you probably want to change your sheets every week. You've got to find out with your family what works for you. But as I said, for us, we change the sheets um, in the master bedroom one week. And then the, the next week, it's the kids who change uh, their bed sheets. So I've, I've kind of got two loads of uh, laundry going, you know, one one week and one the next week. Then you set your timer for another 10 minutes and you're going to gather up all the rubbish which is in the house. All, all the uh, bins that you have in the house, maybe you have one in the laundry room, maybe you have one uh, in the kids room, you get them to get their bins and go and empty their bins. Same with recycling. Okay, so that's another 10 minutes on that. After that, and, and you can do these tasks in any order, it doesn't need to be the ones that I'm, I'm saying here. Uh, next one is you take your timer, again, another 10 minutes, and you may want to take a, a drink of water between these tasks, is look through any newspapers that have come in this week, uh, catalogues, do you need to keep them? Um, we, we don't have much uh, junk mail coming in, and, and basically when mail comes into our house, I deal with it at the door. So I don't have much, and it doesn't take me 10 minutes to go through uh, the newspapers and things that have come in. It, it, try and keep these things in a basket. If you're the type that says, oh, you know, I want to read those uh, before I go to bed, keep them in a basket, but be reasonable about, about these things. Because if, if they're still there after three weeks, it's no longer news, get them out of there, get them in the recycling. 10 minutes on vacuuming. And I know you're gonna say, I can't vacuum the whole house. No, you're not meant to be vacuuming the whole house. You're just gonna vacuum the main traffic areas. Now. That may be different in your house than it is in my house here, but my main traffic areas are uh, the kitchen, which is here on the ground floor, the entryway, also on the ground floor, uh, and the living room and the little guest bathroom. Those are my main areas, main traffic areas. We don't wear shoes in the house here in Denmark. We wear slippers or, you know, indoor shoes. So if you have, you know, if you're tramping in a lot of dirt or if you've got animals, you may want to set your timer twice and do, you know, 10 minutes upstairs and 10 minutes downstairs. I only do the ground level when I'm doing my weekly home blessing and I can do it in less than 10 minutes. And also the thing is you don't need to get right into the corners. You're just doing the main, the main areas that you can see because we will be doing detailed cleaning in the zones, but we'll get to that. So 10 minutes on vacuuming and then 10 minutes on mopping. You vacuum first and then you can mop. And again, you're just mopping the main traffic areas. You're not mopping the whole house. We have, uh, we, we don't have carpet, you know, wall to wall carpet here in Denmark. Uh, in my house, we have uh, tiled floors and we have wooden floors. And again, I'm just doing the areas that I mentioned. And again, it takes me less than 10 minutes to mop those areas. 
And then we have 10 minutes, another 10 minutes, on shining windows uh, and mirrors. Now, I, I do that in the zone. So for example, this week we're in the kitchen zone. So I would do 10 minutes on the windows in here. And, and I'm not talking about, you know, the bucket of soapy water and the water and the old newspapers to dry off. I just use a generic um, glass cleaner and one of the fly lady uh, rags, you know, a purple rag or a silver rag, it doesn't really matter, but a microfiber cloth. And if you've watched, ever watched any of my zone cleaning videos, you will see that I can do it in less than 10 minutes. Uh, so you're just gonna do you know, any mirrors or any kind of glass. And once the 10 minutes goes off, you stop. You don't go on and on and on and do all, all the mirrors in the house. And then, um, oh, and another thing, you, you, and you can do this at the beginning of your weekly home blessing or, you know, wherever you want to fit it in, is dusting. Now, you can either use a dust mitt. Uh, I like to have my feather duster and I've, I've attached mine onto an old pole from a mop because that means I can get right up to the ceilings or right down to the skirting boards. Whatever you have, just dust for 10 minutes. You're, you're just kind of dusting off any flat surfaces. If you can get into the corners of the room as well, that's great, but don't, don't worry about it. Oh, hold on. Oh, I don't want my feather duster falling down. There you go. Um, yeah, so, so that, that's basically what the, the weekly home blessing hour is about. You either do these seven things one after one, and, and it'll take you, as I said, about 70 minutes, or you can split it up and do, you know, change sheets on a Sunday, um, mop on a Monday, uh, take out the trash or the rubbish on a Tuesday. You, see, you, you, you divide it up to suit your family and your house, because one of the questions that I get all the time is, how do I do my weekly home lesson? Don't, don't worry about what I'm doing. Think about your house and, what your uh, level of expectation is you you may you may want to you know bleach everything down and I, i'm not like that and i like to use uh, eco-friendly products and by cleaning consistently we don't need the toxic stuff so that's another advantage of the fly lady system you can just clean in the clothes that you're wearing if you want to put on a, an apron if you want to change into some workout clothes crank up the music and do your weekly home blessing or that way. That's also a great way to do it. Some of the ladies that I used to mentor uh, when I was working as a, a, a mentor at Fly Lady Premium, they would actually use that one hour during the week as a workout. That, that's a fantastic way to, to look at it. You're burning calories, you're cleaning the house, you're making everything a bit shinier. So maybe you want to consider that. Now, if you need some help, if you, want, if you want help doing your weekly home blessing hour, I will do it along with you. I've got plenty of videos. I'll put a link up there and I'll put a link in the video information and the pinned comment. You know, if you go up to the top of the comments, you'll see a pinned comment from me. I have done videos on each of these tasks where you see me doing it and I do a voiceover of talking you through it. That may be helpful to you if you haven't done it before and you need, you know, a helping hand. Uh, I've also made a video where you can see me doing how I usually do my weekly home blessing hour uh, because I split mine a bit differently. I change sheets on a Sunday and uh, the newspapers and magazines and things, I, I do those on a daily basis or as I said, when it comes into the house. Uh, so those are two things that I don't um, do as part of the main weekly home blessing or well, the other thing is uh, trash rubbish recycling i normally do those the night before we have our uh, rubbish uplifted so i'm only doing four tasks from the weekly home blessing on a monday and i've made a video where you can actually see me doing my um, you know 35 40 minutes so if, if you need help I'm there to work along with you. I've got my me cleaning caddy and I've, you know, I'm, I'm ready to go. Otherwise, you know, get some music. Uh, I often use my um, cordless headphones. I, uh, that's my way to work. I get my cordless headphones on and I'm kind of uh, dancing around the house. Find something that works for you. 
with any of these fly lady things, you've got to change it to suit you. Don't, don't feel that you're restricted by the, the fly lady system. It's a blueprint and you, you tweak it to suit you and to suit your family. And please don't let anybody ever, ever tell you that you're doing the fly lady system the wrong way. The only thing that you can do wrong is by not doing anything at all, which takes us back to the timer. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if you don't know where to start, you set your timer and just do something, you know, whether it's vacuuming for 10 minutes or uh, mopping for 10 minutes. And after that, you sit down and you give yourself a little pat on the back and you think of me giving you a rah, rah, rah here with my pom-poms, okay? I'm here, I'm here to help you. So anyway, um, it would be great if you could write in the comments today if uh, let me know if you've never tried the weekly home blessing air and why you didn't think it would work for you or if you've got a success story about the weekly home blessing air I, I have been doing fly lady for a long time and um, let me see 12 years perhaps a bit longer than that and i still remember that first excitement when i was overwhelmed and i was on, on the internet uh, it, it was the the night before my son started school and I was desperate to find something that would help me to get rid of the, the chaos at home. I was very organized at work, but chaotic at home. And I still remember that excitement of finding this thing, you know, fly lady and dressing to shoes. Got my shoes on here. Uh, and just that excitement of, gosh, somebody actually had a plan for this. And, you know, it, as I've said before, if you tell me what to do, I can do it but I can't kind of just pull these things out of, um, out, out of there and make it up myself. So anyway, let, let me know how it goes for you. Hope you'll be doing your weekly home blessing hour today. I will post mine on uh, Instagram. If you're working along with us on Instagram, I'll be there. And um, anyway, without further ado, let me get my timer started and uh, I'm going off and get started with my weekly home blessing hour. So anyway, Live long and prosper. May the Danish Hugo be with you. And um, I shall see you tomorrow for more of a family refresher course. Okay, bye for now.